Uh, welcome, one and all, to uh, well, episode two of our of our new let's play at uh, Barrier Island. So, so we left with a reasonable start, I think. Got a school down. We have one or two high rents, but nothing too, you know, ridiculous like a lot of other people are reporting. Because there is a bit of a bug, but half the time you don't know if it's a little bit of a bug or whether it's uh, whether it's your making. So, uh, so yeah, but we're not doing too bad, really. But then again, early days. Let's see what uh, what happens. So, uh, what I think I'm going to start off in this episode is I'm going to make our area here for well. So once we get the geotherm thermal uh, power plant in, let's make it ready. That's made uh, the main square sort of uh, right. Let's just now really just flatten the area, I think, just around here, just to make it a bit uh, neater. There you go, a lot neater. Right, while we're waiting for our milestone to pop, let's do a little bit more uh, building out. We've built out a little bit there now. More residential, commercial, as well as uh, industrial. So, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's just touch up a little bit more of the uh, residential demand. Still got some uh, low residential there to, to knock down. The more people have, the more taxes we have, and the more workers we've got. Yay, we're here. Finally. So, a bit of cash in the bank, give us some uh, extra development points, but all the other stuff can wait right now. What we want is our geothermal plant that we can get off an imported electric and start selling our electric. So, lovely jubbly. Let's... Uh, Let's go and pop this in. So it's going to go in that center square here. Uh, I'm not going to pop it into the road, I think. Uh, let's just choose it. So that's the one we want. It's got to go pretty much over the top of this uh, thing here. The water source beneath the ground. And uh, yeah, I think anywhere in there will do. Yep, that'll do. Let's... Uh, 
Let's wrap a road around her and then uh, get it all uh, hooked up. Excellent. All done. So now we have a thermal generator. Let's see. We just need to connect it now to our external supply. So we can sell as well as... Uh, you know, reap the benefits of our, our own power. So I think what I'll do, let's uh, let's connect this up. So I think actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this underground. I think so we don't have to have ugly pylons all across the map. Yeah, I know some people might say, well, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a bit of aesthetics, isn't it? So we can just connect that right up to here. Am I... Let me just check, make sure I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm not bothering anything. That'll do. And there you go. The arrows show the way. Okay. We're not cooking with gas, we're cooking with geothermal energy. We can get rid of this uh, transformer now and uh, get rid of this little uh, access point. Don't need it now. Excellent. So let's have a look what we've got. Oh, look at that, the full trade. Where is that? 102 megawatts apparently we're knocking out, uh, we're selling. So looking at our sort of, look at that, un unemployment, 0%. Hmm. Probably means I need probably more uh, more employment places. So more industrial, more commercial, I guess. But uh, let's have a look at uh, see where we are. Industrial still at 10%. Uh No well educated. At least none in town anyway. I'm assuming people can just come in and work and leave and not pay me any taxes, which is a bit crappy. Uh, we've got some high rent here as well, notice on But uh let's see what they say. Uh... So, nine off employees, there you go. It's a bit of a catch-22. There's no jobs, and they're saying there's nine off employees. There's three short there. So, while this is with less employees, you're not going to get, uh, you know, uh, full efficiency. So I guess that's why it flags. Or it's a bug, who knows. But we're not doing too bad with it. I mean, we're, we're having a pretty fair game, albeit we're pretty low, just over a thousand people living in the city. So it's amazing really from CS1, you know, we get so advanced, so much stuff, and we've only got just over a thousand people. My word. That wouldn't even give us trams. Okay, let's have a look to see where we stand. So roads is still costing us just over 4k. Electric, I'm still 196, but at least I'm exporting now. 91k they're exporting. I'm not really played about with these budgets too much. A bit nervous in doing it, to be fair. However, they are starting to ask now for high crime, so I think we might need to get a police station in here. Somewhere. Let's, uh, let's join these two together. And we'll get a police station in, and, and probably a fire station. 
It's about time. There's not as lot as urgency to get these in, by the way. I'm sure you guys already know that, but... You know, whatever you don't put in is catered for from an outside source, so we do pay for it. But I'm not sure if the payments is properly working yet, so... Some of it we might get for free. I'm sure we're not paying garbage. And they haven't set that up yet, so I am gonna I am gonna set that up, but I'm not gonna go for landfill. I'm gonna go, you know, eventually and get a recycling center. I think I don't want to mess about with landfills. To be fair, well, there we go. Milestone unlocked. Nice one. Bit of sip of Dr Pepper. Right. So where are we? Just did a roundabout in the center of there. Yeah, it looks alright. Quite like that. Pretty central too. I think we can actually... Uh... I don't want to upgrade these yet. Let's... Uh... I haven't got signature buildings yet, but let's... Uh... Let's take a look at it. It's looking pretty, you know. I think we got good central coverage there with the fire with the fire station and high crime is still high, but uh but then again I haven't switched it on yet, so it will be. So it's still on pause. So there's the upgrade. I can actually get more police cars. Don't really need to do that yet, I don't think. Let's uh, let's circle the road around the f police station at least. It's so easy now. You can just do a road, and it it, it clips right next to the building. It makes it the road system in this is is superb. It's the best feature by far. <laughs> and it's the only guaranteed working one right now. But I'm happy enough. I'm quite enjoying the game. Whether I'll be saying that when I've got a city of 100,000 people is is to be seen. But, you know. Yeah, cool. Yep. Right, I think it's time we actually built a little, you know, bit of the city out now. We need quite a bit of stuff around, I think. So, uh, so yeah, you know, we need, we need more people coming in. So, so let's do a bit of a build up.
There you go, that should help things out quite a bit. So what I want to do now, I think, I'm, I'm going to put some parks in. I mean... Parks, obviously good for land value. So, uh, you know, it'll make them happier. But conversely, it can have a negative effect too. So we'll have to see how it goes. Because more land value means it costs more rent to live there. So you can get that can't afford the rent sort of thing. So it's a bit of a catch-22. So I'm just going to utilise some small uh, parks and dog parks and such. Just scatter them about. Try and get it all reasonably green. Uh, at least in the residential areas. But yeah, it's one of those things that you have to uh, you have to be careful. Uh, you know, high rent can be affected by several things. It could be, you know, your they've got too big of a plot, so it's too expensive. The land value is too high. Uh, they're not working, or, or they're poorly educated. You know, which hopefully we should be reducing that now. Uh, but yeah, we just have to assess it. But also, uh, Colossal Order uh, is is putting patches out as we speak. Uh, I think we've had one or two up to now, but I assume this will be going for probably a couple of months. You know, it was with the last one, really, to be fair, before the balance really gets right. You know, a lot of people are complaining about it, but I'm quite happy I've got it. I'm quite happy we're using, utilising it at the end of the day. Uh, there's, there's a lot to enjoy right now. So, uh, so I'm quite happy the game's out. I'm not that unhappy about the performance because it's working all right for me. Now, like I said, all the caveats in that is that it's working on my computer because am I lucky? I, who knows? Uh, also, you know, uh, I've not really got a really large city yet. So, you know, I've heard problems can start coming in around 100k upwards uh, of residents. But who knows? Uh, and hopefully by the time I get to 100k anyway, there'll be enough patches out to, to have resolved that issue. So, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I'm I'm quite happy, and I hope you you know whoever's watching you know uh, are happy as well, uh, you know with with what you're seeing. You know if you're looking looking at the game to wonder whether you can run it, uh, all I can say is give it a shot. Play about with the with, with the settings, you know, to get it down. See, we're getting close to not breaking even yet, but it's definitely coming down. But yeah, uh, you know, give it a shot if you can. Game Pass it, perhaps, because it's if you're not on Game Pass, it's, you know, they've got a deal for a, for a dollar or a pound or a euro, whatever you are, and then you can try it out there. So, And if you've got it, you know, share your experience. Hopefully you'll... Uh, you'll be having a positive one as well up to now with a few minor glitches. I've had some fingers, some glitches, obviously. Uh, but you just, you know, work around them for now. I will be going over some here later on, no doubt. So let's have a look what I've got here. So I've got 17 out of 22 employees. I'm not well educated, obviously, yet. Or, you know, I've no college. Now, whether we get well-educated people coming in, and uh, I don't know. Not really said, done that to the test, to be honest, but why is all of a sudden that not working? For some reason, my electric isn't is no longer exporting. 
have a look. It is working. It's only 81% efficiency though because of... Because that could be for demand but also because I'm down people. But if we look at thingy, all of a sudden I'm not trading anymore. Now we were trading before alright, so... So I'm not sure what's happened here. <laughs> we only talked about a bug a minute ago, so... Um, I just uh, stumbled on one here. Has it just... Uh, has it disappeared? Let's have a look again. There's, there's no light flowing down there. Oh, well, I connected to that and it starts flowing again. Strange. Even though it's not connected to it, by the way, because there's a high... You know, it's high power at the end of the day. It's not going to connect to the road, which requires low power and a transformer. So, I'm just going to delete it. So, let me delete it all and then just reconnect. Probably the best way to do it. Well, we're still showing all available, apart from not trading it. So, let's... Uh, Let's uh, let's get rid of that other pile and I put down the. Yeah, let's get rid of that first, and well, let's let's just reconnect it again and see what happens. Very bizarre. I'm still going to keep it underneath though. Who knows? I mean, I've done nothing. I mean, we haven't been... This, we've not rejoined the save or anything, so... Unless I've done something unbeknowing and broke it, but it didn't show broke, broke, but... Connect it and see what happens. Yeah, it's all flowing again. And look, I'm trading again, so... Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, back to full trade, though, so that's the main thing. Oh, look at that. Service trade now is showing zero, so we're not we're not we're not trading. Oh, look at that uh, green go up there. It's going to bounce up and down. We're not going to. We should be getting close to breaking even now. Really, I would have expected to to be seeing a little bit of green now and again, but we've not. But then again, I've not been completely uh, looking at it twenty four seven. But overall, you know, we're we're getting closer. So eventually we'll be, you know, getting into the green. No doubt it'll flip-flop between, you know, uh, red and green. But let's see. Let's see what happens. So there's... Can't really do much with it. I mean, I could play about with the services a little. Take the budget away, in a way, for some of the stuff. See, I'm exporting the 281k, and I'm earning 14 and a half k from from my citizens as a service fee, I guess. But I'm still expenses are still 300k. But that's probably down to I've got such an overflow, even though I'm selling so much. I've still got a huge overflow. I could probably afford to actually reduce it, to be fair. So, let's see. We've got... It's one of those things, isn't it? You just don't know where, whether I'm going to kill something <laughs> by, uh, by you know, reducing... I mean, a lot of people say, oh, reduce all your services. And I've been tempted to keep away from it. Right, let's 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 start. To, we might as well. We got some points, so I'm going to get the highways. I'm going to change the highways, um, and we might as well get parking areas as well. I think. So what else? What else can there be? Got the crematorium already. I'm not going to bother with the plant with the garbage side yet. I'll keep that on external. I do need a college. 
I don't want the earth in the welfare office. Actually, I could do with the welfare office. The welfare office, by the way, is is an answer for high rent as well. It helps your uh, your citizens who are poor and can't afford it. So uh, I think it'd be worthwhile to drop to drop that into the city somewhere. And we got an abandoned. This is another problem, by the way. <laughs> it's not. I'm not trying to, you know, get around my uh, my bad planning and bad management. But these buildings, uh, they give like cheap apartments, uh, but they're very small, uh, small floor space, and that's what the complaint is. So usually, all of them. Are, a lot of people can't keep those going without getting abandoned, regardless of the state of the city so I think that needs a fix I don't think there's a way around that because at the end of the day they're a small footprint a large footprint but there's multiple occupants HMO as we call it in the UK high multiple occupancy so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that so I'm going to put this I could put, yeah, I'll put it here, sort of back end of the school, I think. It's sort of out the way, but it's, uh, it should help everybody out, I think. Very nice. I don't know how fast this works, by the way, or even if it will work, but we've got some, uh, what have we got here? Not enough customers. Again, <laughs> you know, that could be a multitude of things, and it also could be a bug. Uh, but we've only got a couple, so... But that could also be too many of the same item as well, or too many of the same type of commercial. So we've only got a handful. I'm not, I'm not that worried about that. So what have we got here? So let's look at our productions. This is the next step for us, I think. So we obviously need uh, animals. Animals can go anywhere, by the way. They don't have to be on, on arable land. Uh, we need vegetables. You know, so this is all... It gets made for food in the end. There's several types of food from fast food, etc. We obviously need a lot, of, quite a few logs as well. So anything in the red is, is basically a deficit. So that's something that we're over-importing, I think. I believe too much so they're the ones that we'd like to concentrate on that's obviously for oil we're not going to be able to do that so yeah it looks like all we can do right now with what we've unlocked is animals and logs and I believe the 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 high sort of ones are the stone uh, and the logs and the grain but we're not showing deficit for grain strangely enough but apparently grain is really good for because uh, it it goes into a lot of a lot of lot of goods so I think I would have put the animals in first so I'll probably just put a couple of small ones in we'll definitely eat vegetables we'll definitely do logs and we'll definitely do the the rocks as well and we'll start to go into, uh, you know, at, w at some point we'll start to go into the whole production chain. But basically, as a as a city mayor, we take a cut of everything, really, of all the different stages. So it's important to to at least get some things down. We don't control what what gets put down apart from these. We don't get, we can't choose, you know, where the warehouses are, or even if there is, if there are warehouses. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's not like CS1's uh, industry DLC. I'm sure, there will be a DLC, uh, DLC uh, to cover uh, industries in probably a lot more depth. But in the vanilla game, this isn't a bad, you know, introduction, we'll say. It's definitely got more improvements to go but there's ways to encourage uh different uh 
commercial and different industry. Uh, and that's by reducing tax on the particular... So if you wanted food, for example, more food places, you could lower the tax for food. And that should hopefully encourage every time you drop something new down. Now, this is a point I want to uh, say. This is what I picked up as well, uh, is that don't zone, don't alter these zones in the actual uh, specialised industry. Just drop it, escape out, and then come into this uh, uh, this tool uh, to do your uh, to to do the zoning, because apparently it can be a bit bugged if you don't. So again, this is one of those workarounds that some you know somebody's somebody's worked out somewhere. You know, in between all the noise and the complaints on the forums, especially on Steam, there's a lot of. There's a lot of angry people right now on Steam. Uh, and quite rightly so, probably. Uh, but there is some people still out there, you know, finding solutions for, for issues you may not even be aware of. But yeah, any zoning like this, the specialised industry, use the zoning tool. Don't use the specialised industry tool. So that's a hot tip. I didn't find that out, like I said. Uh, I I saw a post on that, so it's probably it's probably worth following because it doesn't really doesn't really harm us. So again, come out of the specialised industry. Okay, go into the into the zoning tool. Use the industry part of it. Now I'm doing two. Reasonably small. You can make one big one, I suppose. But I'm just thinking, you know, it's better to diversify a little and have a couple of people doing, uh, you know, these. And then we can slowly build it up to to what we need. So will make it a little bigger on the side there, and I think that should be all right. Looks quite good, doesn't it? <laughs> little fences around it as well. Brilliant. All right, that should work, I think. So now we need to add a couple of log versions. So obviously, like in this tool, you see the big circle there. That's that's your extremities. So we wanna we wanna go where all that all that forest is. So let's just open one of these tiles here, and we'll just do this section here. So let's just uh, actually, actually let's let's just I just want to smooth that uh, that area right that I've left a bit nasty cliffside there. Let's just smooth that out a little bit. Should be all right. So if I put it at the bottom here, then I only have a small arc because obviously it's a circle and and the actual. Uh, industry is right in the center, so I really want that in the middle of where I want to be. So let's get a road. Let's get a dirt road, I think. I always CS1 I used to always put dirt roads there. It just looks a bit better, and I think it takes less trees away when you're putting it down. Oh, it seems to do anyway. It's only a small road. So I'm going to put two here, just like I did uh, for the for the farming, uh, for the animals, so, and yeah, I'm only going to do half a circle, but I just think diversify, not have it all done on one farm. You certainly can do one farm, there's nothing, nothing to stop you doing that, it's just personal preference, I think. So, we'll take it back across, though. So let's see if we can just take that up and then just bend that across. It's great how they got the angles on here. It's really precision. You know, it's like the precision uh, mod. What we used to have in CS1. You know, it's definitely, uh, definitely a game changer here. I'm going to take this right to the bottom, I think. So 
So just touch that green circle. But I'm going to go up straight, I think, just to... And, you know, if I'm if I'm a bit short or could do with a bit more wood, I can come back and make these a little bigger and make them more, you know, concentric to, to gain more space. But for now, let's just do it like this. Can always come and add more... Uh, more forestry later as well but I just want to cut that back that deficit and I'm just trying to make some cash at the end of the day there seems to be a there seems to be a want for wood right now for for, for logging so let's just answer it okay I think what I'll do I'll just push this back a little And then let's get it 1990 there you go I could bring it back a little back down like I said we can always go and adjust this at any time anyway so let's see what happens all right, that should do. Let's uh, let's put another another forestry right next to it. Well, across the street from it. There we go. So we'll just more or less mar marry it across. I suppose really I've overstepped in a little way, but. Try and match it up at least. Okay, that's that done. Right. Take it to the edge of the concentric circle. But bring it up in a straight line. So I want to try and match this to where we had the other one. Getting close to the circle there. So I think that was about it. So now this should reasonably match it, I think. Yep. I should do it there. Right. <clears throat> so we got logs going and we've got uh, a bit of uh, animal farming going, we'll say. See where we can uh, where we can improve now. You know, it's really surprising how how less we've got here, but how far we've come. I mean, just just shy of two thousand citizens now. So, and these demands grow like anything. So, our police station is uh, hundred percent efficiency. Employers twelve for twelve. They're all patrolling, so I could. Yeah, let's just give it an upgrade. Then it's got more, more police. I'm. Uh, I don't intend. We don't need to spam police like we did in CS One, and we don't need to spam fire. It's not that. It's not like CS One, which is I'm grateful of. I think this is far more realistic. These days, and no, this day and age, especially here in the UK, you can hardly find a police station. Never mind uh, having plenty of them. And we can also zone as well, and we can actually tie tie these sort of things to zones as well. So police will only go to certain zones to to police. But right now, I've got it. I've got it right open. Yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. So I've got some broad services, but uh, let's see if we can put in a couple of the parking lots. I've had mixed, mixed with these, to be fair.
You know, sometimes people use them and sometimes people just don't, so. And once we get the parking uh, in districts, I'll be using that. There is a slight bug right now. You can actually, you can actually whack that up as well, so you get the full cost of parking uh, within districts, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't cause any issues. So people don't complain because of it. But I believe that's a bug. Let's give him a little uh, path. So, and uh, we'll give him a zebra crossing as well. We'll give him one here. To give a zebra crossing, you just go a bit odd to, onto the path. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to give you a zebra crossing there because it's already got one. So, just need to just take it close. It'll just complete. Okay. One of the things I am missing is bikes. We haven't got bikes. That was a big miss, I think. I'm hoping they just throw that in for free. I hope we don't have to wait for a DLC for that. And I hope that comes in rather quickly. So, parking fee. Keep it at 25. And we'll see what happens. Very promised. Yeah, every time we put some services down, oh look at how, how pretty close we are. Though now we're making a profit, really close. But every time I put something else down, um, it's an expense. So perhaps I need do need to look at uh, bringing some of these down. I wonder if I can do healthcare. I was a bit dubious, to be honest. Because the swings and roundabouts, people can complain more about healthcare that way, and then, you know, people start to leave. Garbage management is not paying anyway. I don't want to take education because that apparently slows people down from graduating, and I certainly don't want that. That's why I put a library in there so they graduate a bit quick. I'm going to knock the police down, though, because I'm not that worried about police we'll see what that does transportation i'm not got parks and recreation i don't want to touch otherwise the parks will start to collapse ah oh, i could take roads and i could even take the electric down a bit but i'll take house curve down a little bit okay one of those things, but I could, I could take it. Let me take it to fifty and then see what happens. Just keep an eye on it. See, you've already got something complaining right now. People in the city are not looking well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty well right now. Probably just... I'm earning a little bit more on industry, so I'm just going to just squeeze a little bit more. Look, I'm in the green. No, I'm not. Thought I was then. Seeing things, I think. One and a half grand. So you put your taxes up and you just get a little less. And, you know, we can we can really, you know, we can really sort of troubleshoot the, the hell out of this. But at the end of the day, we could also be having bugs here. So, tiny town. Nice one, 1 1.2 million in the bank. We got mixed housing now. We'll be playing with that. Well, you got vegetable farming, and we got communications too. So that means people start complaining about that. Recycling, speed bumps. That's good to keep uh, noise down. So people complain about noise. 
know what we're doing in here. Yeah, let's have a look at. Okay. Just flicking through. Uh, so I would have picked up. So let's let's go on. A lot of people complaining. I mean, like I'm losing lots of points for lack of internet. So let's we've we've just unlocked it. So let's let's. Let's bang some internet down and see what that does for our stats. I mean, the more happy people are, the less chance of leaving, more money I'll get. So, it's a little noisy, this. I don't want it too on people's doorsteps, but it doesn't need to be too far away either because I want reasonable coverage. I think I'm going to have to have two. I don't think... I don't think one will suffice for the extremities. Yeah, I'm definitely missing over there if I do that. Yeah, swings are roundabouts. about. That's not too bad there. Put one there. And the next one... Businesses, industry need need strong internet as well. I could put it at the end, but I'm missing that eccentric. I think I'll just stick it here because we are going to build this area up more. That should do us, I think. Right, looking pretty good right now. What have we got here? Everything's looking pretty good, to be honest, and he's content. He's got higher rent, but... Let's see, he's got educated too, so... It's a big house, though. Could be the size of the house there, or it could be the bug. So, let's have a look. I mean, I don't think Texas has a lot to do with it, so... See, I'm playing about with well-educated, highly educated too, and I have nobody in that uh, in that bucket, but... So, it's a bit of an elephant, really, what I set that at. So, still getting government subsidies, it's good. Definitely need it. I'm just over two million in the bank, so I'm not, I'm not that rusty. There we go again. Look at that. Abandoned again. Let's get rid of it completely. I think we might replace it as well. Let's give us something else. So, one rows. Try the raw homes. Yeah, we've got ambulance wanted at that one. Let's just fill these gaps in. Not doing too bad. We do have industry. But I'm not 100% sure I've got the the people for that, really, to be honest. So, Cause imagine they'll, they want more college or even university. But we're not looking too bad on our overall sort of stats. We're looking very happy, actually. Obviously, we've got a couple of reds. I think we're going to have to be looking at uh, changing our, our main road in there and then swapping that out, actually, for highways now we've got it. See if there's anything else I can have for the development tree. 
City Hall would be nice to have, but it's not necessary, I don't think, looking at what, what we what we get with it. Roundabouts would be nice and large roads would be nice, I think, at this point. Uh, I don't think I need any power. I do need a water treatment plant, but like I said, I'm not too worried about that right now. It's two points. I mean, I've got five, but I don't really need it yet. Hospital, I'm not bothered about right now. I do need a college, so I think we need to start thinking about the colleges. Uh, fire and rescue, we don't really need anything, I don't think. Uh... Let's get the train because I'm, you know, we're going to be stepping out very soon. So I might as well get the train while I'm here. Let's get the parks. Let's get the large parks, I think. Yeah, so obviously I have to pick up the park maintenance building and then we'll choose larger parks. Right, that's all them development points spent up for now. Let's see what else we can do here. Our poop is not doing too bad. It's, it's staying contained, that's one thing. Right, so looking at our production. Oh, we got well enough surplus here for logs. Still need more, uh, more animals though. More livestock. We're still on a deficit there so let's let's build a few more livestock farms probably probably not a bad idea get a couple of more in at least i think that's a couple of more done let's see how we fair with that just segregate that now with a path right doing too bad really So yeah, that has launched us down a little bit, but I think we must be using a lot of this in food. Because we're not getting no uh, surplus, which I would imagine the surplus will allow us to, you know, export and earn a lot of money from. Looking at material goods, well, that, that requires oil. There's a couple of things starting to come up now in deficit, sort of, why we, which we can concentrate on, but, but right now, right now it's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy. Hope you guys, you know, watching, following along, uh, enjoying the, you know, the series up to now. I think we've had a really good start. I think we, you know, I think we will, uh, I think we're gonna have a booming city let's let's just hope the city skylines catches up uh definitely gonna to need to uh to update our highway through here probably next episode now but yeah i i am pretty happy to be honest so let's uh let's just do a little bit of connectivity in between so the more routes in and out will help a lot of things actually. Should help on bottlenecks as well for our, you know, electric supply. More more options, more directions for your electric to flow. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. And just a reminder folks, you know, I'm a small channel. If you do get a chance to uh, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, also lets me know as well that what I'm doing is what you guys are enjoying, you know, and you want me to do more of. So it really is just just to let me know, give me some feedback. Uh, a small channel, uh, it helps a great deal. But yeah, I'm really happy how this is uh, starting to starting to come come together. So I think uh, I think we're coming to the end of our our episode. 
you know hope you've enjoyed this one uh the the next one won't be long in, in coming it's already uh cooking so to speak so uh so yeah i've uh i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i've enjoyed making it because i'm having a lot of fun with this game right now but yeah i will see you all very soon in the next episode everyone have fun bye everybody <laughs>